Some people don't like the Lazarus interface because of all these free-floating windows. They all have uh, their own little bounds on the screen. And, for example, if I switch to the code editor, the form uh, view vanishes, and I have to press F12 to get it back. And if I want to drag the whole IDE, if I've got more than one monitor, as I have on this system, and I want to drag the IDE onto another screen, well, I'd have to do it one window at a time. So a lot of people prefer the Visual Studio look or the, um, the the default for Delphi or many other IDEs where all the windows are docked together. How can you do that in Lazarus? Turns out it's pretty simple and I'll show you how to do it. So first of all, with Lazarus installed, you select Package, then Install and Uninstall Packages. The Packages that are installed are listed here. The ones that are available are listed on the right. So I'm going to install Anchor Docking Design Package and I'll press Control and click the um, Docked Form Editor Package and that will dock the form with the yeah, Code Editor. Then I click uh, Install Selection save and rebuild the IDE and continue. This is going to take a little while, while it goes ahead and uh, rebuilds everything. So when that's all done, no, Lazarus reboots itself and you can see now that the code editor and the form editor are docked here. And if I want to move the entire IDE around from one screen to another or around on one screen well that's how i do it and to uninstall them if i want to go back to the default view straightforward install and install packages i select anchor docking design and uh, what was the other one docking form editor uninstall selection save and rebuild ide again i wait for it to recompile itself and pop up back on screen and uh, once it's done that then I should yeah and I'm back to the default view with all the panels separately now I hope you found this useful uh, this is part of a series about learning Lazarus eventually I'm going to show how to use Lazarus to do Pascal programs cross-platform coding on Windows and deploying on another, in my case, it'll be on a Raspberry Pi running Linux, but you can cross-platform to uh, Mac if you want, or other versions of Linux. Hope you found this useful. If so, give it a thumbs up. And of course, as always, make sure you don't miss any of my lessons. Subscribe to my channel and I'll see you again soon. So bye for now.